Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play We Done Yet Again, but in 2020, baby. An old 2020 faction, unless this is uploaded in 2021. <laughs> it probably won't. It probably will be some. So with my luck, it's probably uploaded in 2021. Eh, I hope not. Because <laughs> you know, I don't. Because you know, I'm planning on doing this Let's Play along with Sonic Generations uh, and a bunch of new other Let's Plays. And like I said, I'm going to do the whole collection. I'm doing all three Sly games. Well, all three on the collection. As as in one playlist. And then eventually I'm going to do Sly 4 eventually after that. And then we're also going to do Jack and Daxter eventually. And everything. And also, this is also recorded with a new microphone and all that. So, th that's... Because, like, my old one kind of broke. So, I didn't get a new one. And so... And then finally, I also have, you know, really good quality stuff character card now and everything. I mean, it's still, it's still Elgato and stuff like that, but like thing is, I have the cord now so we can do actually do HD. I know I typically have done this game twice on my channel already. I'm doing that again, but this time I'm doing all three games together on one playlist, so let's actually start the new game, shall we? Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, what kind of happened is uh, I had both. I had. I was using the second play controller for some strange reason. Because some, like I guess, because both controllers weren't. Oh, guys, we got a coin collector trophy. But yeah, all the way. Also, you can see that we have trophies now. Like I know, I know. Like I when I done the let's play and stuff. Um. I did, I mean, I have done trophies before, but like, but also I've done Let's Plays where I don't use trophies because I've already beaten the game. I actually created a separate account for my Let's Plays and everything. So now, now I actually have a separate account so I can get actually trophies when I play games and stuff like that. Which I'm going to show off. This this Let's Play is going to be 100%. Um, at least Sly 1. Sly 1 and 2 are going to be 100%. Sly 3 mostly will be 100%. But, but I'm probably gonna try to get all the trophies for Sly One and Two. But anyway, here's a cutscene right here. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. But yeah, he especially can push circle by doing this like he just said. But I do find it f I do find it funny how like when I started this, uh, the second controller, I was holding the second controller, so that's why when I was pressing the start button, I wasn't doing anything. It's like, well, then I looked at, oh, the second light's on, not the first one. I mean, Goofy. But yeah, we got over here. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not... Oops. <laughs> My bad. I actually cut off Bentley. Nice job. You're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. I mean, I don't really know what to do, so, you know. <laughs> Like, I play this game so many times. I've played this game already twice. This is my third time let's playing this game, so you know. You know how it is. Well, technically four if you count, like, the like the first time I messed up. Or oh, the second time where I messed up, where I actually deleted it off my channel. But, you know, technically it's my fourth, but, you know. Who cares? <laughs> who cares for numbers? It's 2020. Go, it's been a few Sly. years. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I know where it is, 937. 937. Told ya. <laughs> I've played this game so many times I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bentley. Foxy Lady. Nice. Nice job. You got it. If you come down 
through the fire escape and head through the parking lot. We'll be waiting in the getaway van. I tell you, I tell you, call me the fox is definitely foxy. <laughs> foxy. Uh, you're good I'm not furry though, so you know. No, I do like, you know, I do like Sly Cooper and the characters. I know, like, a furry would love her, but, like, I'm just kind of missing around. <laughs> like, I'm not a furry, but I know that a lot of people are. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Uh -huh. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Yeah, you have had it long enough. <laughs> Just the chemistry between uh, Sly Cooper and Crumbly is pretty, is pretty great. Like, it's great in all the games, but like, yeah. Um, one thing I do have to note about the Sly games, in each Sly game, Crumbly has a different voice actor. I'm <laughs> just letting you know, that's... Which is interesting why they couldn't, like, all four of them, she has a different voice actor. Sly 3 is awful. Like, her voice acting in Sly 3 is awful. Sly 1 and 2 are pretty good. Sly 4 is not bad, but it's not, but it's not, but it's not great. Like, it's better than Sly 3. Sly 3's voice acting for company is awful. But I'm gonna jump in the band because there's a cutscene coming up. Like a cinematic cutscene. Oh, can I? <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the thievious raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Aw, oh, this game's great. Like, this game is just... Mwah! I can kiss ya. And so this is the save screen. That shows means when it's saving. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. But yeah, you can get you can actually go to the movies or you can I'm go to the next mission. The route to our first target. But yeah, this is like the kind of layout. Uh we can hold on. You can go to the movies and you can like see you can see these are all the like different cinematic cutscenes in the game. There's only a sixteen there's sixteen in the game, not bad. Right, like 16. I know there's actually some like a few secret ones which will unlock and stuff. But yeah, that's how you do there. If like I said, so this is where the first mission. Yeah, I yeah I, I yeah I know Bentley. Oh uh, yeah, but basically this is where we need to go. Uh, this is our next area. We can't go to it. We had to defeat the first area. Yeah, if you try to press X, you can't go to it. Murray stops you. But so let's start. The route to 
We know you don't have to repeat it every time I move to the screen, Bentley. You don't have to. But anyway, let's start the let's start the first area after after the prologue. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. Yeah, the first mission or the first episode, whatever you can call it. Not episode, like, yeah, because they kind of do it where it's like kind of an episode sort of things. But anyway, let's start a stealthy approach, shall we? I love the name, stealthy approach. Learn the ropes. I love how we get. I love how there's like tropes in this game that automatically give us them <laughs> when we start a level, like and everything. It's pretty great. It's like one of the easiest games to platinum. Hey Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Bentley. Bentley always worrying about stuff. I mean, it's Sly 1, so, you know, there were more. Uh, of, co of course, the uh, trophy interrupted the mess. Th Bentley speaking, but you know, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I said coin collector. Oh <laughs> uh, boy, like you can get a lot of trophies really quickly and everything. So uh, we can definitely get a lot of trophies. I think in the first episode of this let's play, not first episode of. Well, you do get a lot, of, lot of trophies probably in the first episodic area because they do call they do call like each area episode which in the slice series. So. Don't be confused between uh, what I call it as an episode, because this is episode one. This is what well, of the of, of the last play, and as well as this is like it, it, this whole like Sir Wally's area's episode one of the game. It's really weird. Like it might be, easy, it might just be easier to just call it area one or something like that. I think we almost got like I think we almost like gonna get another trophy when we reach like 100 coins. I think. There's a cutscene right here. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Huh, <laughs> yep, nice. We we're getting really close. We can press L1 if we want to, you know, we see the cutscene with Bentley again, but we don't. Wait, did I? Not? I guess maybe I don't get a trophy. Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there you go, it just took a minute. Coins, coins everywhere. I th for a minute I thought, the, I thought they didn't show up the uh, trophy, but there it was. <laughs> there it was. And these are, like I said, these are the checkpoints. So like, it, once we get past these, we don't have to, we, if we die, we just stop right here. Which we probably won't die because I'm Sly Cooper. I'm Sly Cooper and played this game so many times. According to my amphibio positioning system, that is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? It's me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. 
And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. It's on! Yeah, because we had to stop Sir Raleigh, because he's the first member of the Finnish Five. What do you find it weird is how the fourth member, the Panda King, which we will learn later, which if you, if one seen my past Let's Plays, you already know who the Panda King is. But like, he's like the easiest boss in this game, which is really weird, even though he's like the fourth fourth boss in the game. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of like interesting because he's because the Panda King was supposed to be like the first boss in the game, but they changed it I think near the end of the, end of the game development. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. I find it weird how they showed him during the dialogue that is wa there was water like right here that was filled up. But it disappeared <laughs> now. I don't know. I just noticed that. If anyone noticed that, it was water during that cutscene with Bentley. And Sly. If you even count as a cutscene, I guess. I mean, the communication cutscene. It's not a cinematic cutscene, but... Yeah, I mean... I mean, the cutscenes in this game are not really much cinematic. Because, you know, it's a PS2 game, but... I mean, I, I say cutscene with Bentley versus cinematic cutscene, which they're both of, but like, neither are really cinematic that much. <laughs> like, but I still love this. I also love this series, though. This series is great. Like, my it's my favorite PS2 series, though. Or, not just PS2, but I think it's my favorite PlayStation series. And there's a vault. Okay, yeah, just making sure we get all the clues. Yep, I think we got all the clues. Nice. That's good that we didn't miss it. Cause there's even times where I play this game so many times I miss a clue. I mean, like, it's kind of hard for me to miss a clue because I play this game so many times. Another trophy. See all these trophies. Seven nine two. I love how I knew that. <laughs> uh, like I say, I know a lot of these vaults just because I played it so many times. <laughs> kind of funny when you think about it. Sly, you found a page from the dive bomb. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Fast attack dive move. Interesting name, isn't it? But basically, if we press triangle, we can do that. Like, we unlock different moves. One thing I don't want. One thing is, I kind of wish we had the moves in the other games. I mean, it makes sense why they don't. But it'd be interesting if they, like, kept the moves in the other games. I mean, it'll be just too hard to do. But anyway, here's our first key 2% done. <laughs> With this let's play. Already 2% die. Do we get a trophy for that? I'm waiting for the trophy. I guess not. I guess we don't get a trophy only in the first key clue. I mean key. Yeah, cause we got a trophy for the for the yeah we kind of we got a trophy for the, getting all the clues and unlocking the first fall, which is really interesting. We can double jump up here if we can. There, there you go. There's Wally tied out. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find it. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Yep, it's Sly, it's Sly's funeral, alright. But anyway, actually we're going to stop the episode right here. Yeah, that means we stop the episode right here. Like I said, the videos won't be that long. They'll be probably about 20 minutes each. Like I said, Sly 1 is a really quick game. Probably like 10 episodes maybe, about, maybe a little bit more depending on how, how much we get done in an episode. And then we got Sly 2, which will be a little longer. 
or quite a bit longer with being the longest, and then Sly 3 being a little, a little bit shorter, but Sly 1's a really quick game, so. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the next so in the next episode, as we do some missions in Sir Wally's hideout. So anyway, I've been Green Coast Gaming, and see you guys next time. Wow, I'm out.